Hello everyone, if you are dealing with a data set where you want to perform basic calculations or financial analysis to calculate changes over time, then you know how important it is to learn using a formula to subtract in Excel. But here you can do this within a second. So this is Jihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to create a formula in Excel to subtract. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the dataset a bit. Here, at first, we have employee attributes of monthly income and monthly expense in the cell B5 and B6 and their amounts in the column C. So, our target is to get the savings in the C7 cell by using the subtraction formula in Excel. So, without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to input numbers directly to use subtraction formula in Excel. To do that, we'll go to the C7 cell and insert the first number, which is the monthly income value, in this case, 4000. Then we'll go for the subtraction minus sign and go for the monthly expense. The value is 2000 here. If we click the enter button, then we'll get our perfect savings in the C7 cell. So that's our first method. We can also use cell reference to get the same result. We'll go to the C7 cell and insert the monthly income cell reference C5 minus sign and go for the monthly expense C6 cell reference. If we click the enter button, then get your perfect result savings in the C7 cell. So that's using cell reference for you. Now we want to subtract multiple cells from one cell. At first, we'll go for our first value, which is in this case salary in the C5 cell reference. Now, we want to subtract multiple cells from it. At first, we'll go for our first value C6, again minus sign, then insert C7, then again minus sign C8, again minus sign C9, and at last, we'll go for the C10 as cell reference. If we click the enter button, then get our perfect result of savings in the C11. So that's how we can easily subtract multiple cells from one cell in Excel. We can also use some function to get the result efficiently. At first, we'll go to the C11 cell and insert the first value salary of C5 cell reference. Now we will use minus sign and now in this section we'll use the sum of other expenses like in the sum section we'll get C6 to C10 and now we'll hit the enter button to get the perfect result of savings in the C11 cell. So that's how we can use sum function to get the same result. We can also use the sum function and negative numbers to solve our problem. At first we already know salary is our income but the values of C6 to C10 are our expenses. So we will make these numbers negative number. So we'll insert minus sign before the values of C6 to C10. Now we have converted the C6 to C10 cells from positive to negative numbers. Now we'll use the sum function to add all the values and get the perfect result. So write down the sum function and now we'll select C5 to C10 cells and press the enter button. So we'll get our perfect savings in the C11 cell. So that's how we can easily use sum function and negative numbers to solve our problem. In our new method, we want to use a formula to subtract multiple columns. At first, here we have month in column B, revenue and cost in column C and D. Our target is to get the profit by subtracting the values of revenue and cost. At first, we'll go to the E5 cell and insert the C5 cell as first value, then minus sign and go for the D5 as the second value. If we click the enter button, then we'll get our first profit in the E5 cell. Now drag down the formula to use it to every cell. 
alternatively you can also do the same job by selecting the whole e column and go for the equal sign now select the whole c column of revenue and minus sign and go for the cost of d column and select the values now click the enter button to get the same result for the multiple cells that's how you can easily use a formula to subtract multiple columns in excel now we want to subtract a specific number in our new method to do that we have our e5 cell and we'll insert our first salary which is in this case c5 as we have our specific number of fees in the d5 cell so we'll select the d5 and to make it permanent we'll use f4 in the keyboard if we click the enter button we'll get our perfect result in the e5 cell now drag down the formula to use it to every cell so that's how you can easily subtract specific number in excel we have total salary marked as 1 and total expenses is 0 0.8 and our target is to get the values in percentage form so select the c4 to c6 cells go to the home tab in the number section select the percentage form and make them in percentage now to get the subtraction value we'll go to the c6 cell and insert the first value as c4 minus sign and go for the c5 cell if you click the enter button then get your perfect net savings 20 percent in the c6 cell we can use subtraction formula for percentage in another example like here we have the months in column b revenue and loss in column c and d and our target is to get the profit from them by using the formula of subtraction in column e at first we'll go for the e5 cell and insert the revenue which is in this case c5 now multiply and go for the bracket sign now we'll use one minus the percentage of loss which is in this case d5 cell if you click the enter button then get your perfect result in the e5 cell now drag down the formula to use it to every cell and get profit of the e column by using the percentage formula so that's subtraction formula for percentage for you in our new method we have the submission dates in column b deadline dates in column c and our target is to get the overdue days in column d so we'll use subtraction formula to learn this method at first we'll go to the d5 cell and insert the value of b5 and minus sign and value of c5 if you click the enter button you'll get your perfect result for the overdue 4 now drag down the formula to use it to every cell then you'll get your perfect result of the day column of overdue days you can use another approach by going for the date value at first you'll go to the d12 cell and now you'll insert the date value to directly deal with the dates at first you will insert your first date which is in this case 14 0 3 20 23 now you will go for our next text which is again we'll use the date value and now we'll go for our second value which is in this case 10 0 3 and 2023 20, now if we click the enter button then we'll get our perfect result of overdues in the d12 cell so that's subtraction formula for date values in excel in our new method we want to learn subtraction formula for time values at first we have the starting time in the column b end time in column c and our target is to determine the duration by using the subtraction formula at first we'll go to the d5 cell and insert the in value of c5 minus sign and go for the starting value of b5 click the enter button to get your first duration now drag down the formula to use it to every cell alternatively you can also use the time function to get the duration so at first we'll go to the d10 cell and insert the time function and insert the first value which is 16 hour go for 0 minute and 0 second and now use the minus sign and go for the time function again 
and again inside the second value 8 0 0 if you click the enter button then get your perfect duration by using the time function so that's subtraction formula for time values in excel in our new method we have matrix 1 and matrix 2 matrices and our target is to get the subtraction formula for matrix in excel to do that we'll go to the b10 cell and now we will select f5 as our first value insert the minus sign and go for the value of the b5 of matrix 1 click the enter button to get the perfect result for this cell now drag down the formula to get the result for this column now you can also drag the values from left to right to get the same kind of result for every cell so that's how you can easily use subtraction formula for matrix in excel now we'll combine trim and substitute function to substitute name in excel to do that at first we'll go for the d5 cell and insert the trim function the trim function is used to remove extra spaces from a text string after that we'll go for the substitute function the substitute function is used to replace all occurrence of a specific text within a given text value with another text string within the section as we have got the text so write down the b5 as our first text and now we'll go for the c5 which we want to replace and after that we want to get a blank as we are trying to get the remaining only so write down nothing in the double quotation and click the enter button and get your perfect remaining name in the d5 cell now drag down the formula to use it to every cell so that's the combination of trim and substitute function to get the subtraction formula in excel we can also combine trim replace and search functions to get the same result like the previous one at first we'll go to the d5 cell and insert the trim function the trim function is used to remove extra spaces from a text string after that we'll go for the replace function the replace function is used to replace a specific number of characters with the text string with another now in this section we'll go for the b5 as our old text and after that we'll start the number by using the search function the search function searches for a certain value within the specific value now as we are trying to get the values of c5 and now we'll compare it within the text of b5 after that we can go for the len function the len function is used to determine the length of the function which is in this case equal to the c5 cell after that we have our new text which is in this case the blank sign and go for the enter button now you'll get your remaining name in the d5 cell now drag down the formula to use it to every cell to get the perfect result for the d column so that's the combination of trim replace and search function for you so that's it for today you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com thanks for watching us if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this